Gentlemen, forgive me for disturbing you again, but I have a little problem. A little problem, a little problem. Everyone has little problems now, you know. They are kept to oneself, and they don't stop the world from turning. Nor trains from leaving stations. Are you sure there are no Amazon Sauvignon plants in Barockstadt? Because I have just interviewed the station master and the paleontologist, and what they said really didn't convince me that there wasn't any here. We are quite definite on this point. There are no Sauvignon plants growing in Barockstadt. You see, miss, the Amazon Forest Sauvignon is a rare shrub that requires very special conditions for growth. That's right. Uh, conditions that are very hard to reproduce, believe you me. Difficult, but not impossible. Uh, fortunately, our garden has proved very successful. Your garden? So, there is a garden in Barakstadt? Oh, the garden. Well, if there was one, it would be only a little garden hidden behind the station. But our station master would be very proud of it. He would take very good care of it, too. Everything would grow marvelously if we were able to cultivate it at all, and it would be all down to his gardening prowess. And we would be proud as punch. And we wouldn't forget the role the paleontologist might play in this. What's the paleontologist got to do with it all? Without him and without his laboratory, how would we make the wine, do you think? And it would be good wine indeed, my dear colleagues, would it not? Oh, yes, a delightful balm to soothe away our long hours of toil and our heavy responsibilities. We would wait impatiently every year for the arrival of the year's produce. So, if I have understood you correctly, there are indeed Sauvignon plants in Barockstadt. They are cultivated in a garden behind the station, then turned into wine by the paleontologist's loving care. And finally, the pleasure of tasting is yours. If I'm not very much mistaken, gentlemen, you have a minor racket operating here. Miss, you do go jumping to some hasty conclusions. We never said that. That's not what we said at all. We, we were talking in the conditional. You know, with ifs and woulds. So, what would happen if I had such a hunch? Hmm, you would have to keep it to yourself, of course. Yes, it, if you would be so kind as to keep it a secret. <laughs> it would only be a small local concern, producing barely a few bottles every year. That's right, nothing so grandiose as a business. Otherwise, we'd be liable to be fined. So, we can't count on your discretion, can't we? Don't worry, I have no intention at all of getting messed up in anything. Here we are, busy chat-chatting, and look at the clock. It's tea time. Already? My word, doesn't time fly by? Thank you for a charming visit, miss. And thank you, gentlemen. Excuse me, Station Master, but I need you again. Can't you see I am very, very busy? Uh, no. Well, 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 I am very busy indeed. 
But, uh, okay, okay, I, I think I can give you a minute of my time. You have been playing with me, haven't you? You knew very well there were forest sauvignon berries in the station garden. No, not at all. I've never seen your sauvignon things. You don't have to lie to me. I know all about it. You and the rectors are in cahoots, and the professor's lab has been turned into a distillery. You've all got a nice little smuggling racket on the side. Smuggling racket? Hey, hey lady, you're going a bit far there. It's just a little on-the-side thing we got going. That's all. It's just for ourselves. Hey, you're honest. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Aren't you worried about the reputation of this fine university? The authorities should be informed of this. But we haven't done anything wrong. It's not a crime. Can you open the gate to the garden, please? Sure, sure. No problemo. Right away, miss. Free to visit the garden at your leisure. And uh, uh, there was just one thing. I, I'm not a liar. Not really. Just mum's the word. There is the reputation of the university to think about. And I have superiors. And I have to do what I can. I understand. Don't you worry. Oh, thank you, miss.
impossible to reach it. Miss, miss, please, uh, excuse me. Yes? You know, I want to apologize for our little misunderstanding. I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I brought you a bottle of wine. Barrackstadt Sauvignon. Very good year. Let me know what you think. I'm very touched. Thank you. Good luck on your journey, lady. Thank you.
Gentlemen, forgive me for disturbing you again, but I have a little problem. A little problem, a little problem. Everyone has little problems now, you know. They are kept to oneself, and they don't stop the world from turning. Nor trains from leaving stations. Gentlemen, I have managed to repair your university bandstand. The bandstand is playing again. This is marvelous news. We are really very grateful, very grateful indeed. Yes, very grateful indeed. We will look back on your visit with much fondness in our hearts. And now let us in turn honor our word. How much is it you need, miss? A hundred dollars, if it's not too much to ask. Something about it. <clears throat> we agreed to grant you the aforementioned sum, miss. You may now leave with your train. And while we're on the subject, when will you be leaving? Uh, yes, because now you should relocate your train as quickly as possible. Here we are, busy chat-chatting, and look at the clock. It's tea time. Already? My word, doesn't time fly by? Thank you for a charming visit, miss. And thank you, gentlemen. <laughs>